Hey guys, Triple G here. Got a bit of a important update video and quite a bit to talk about, so I'm just going to get right into it. As you guys can probably already see from the title that, yes, Zombie Tag Legacies off of Protocol has been cancelled. Now, before you freak out, we are going to go ahead and explain why, and we think you'll understand. But in terms of that, we are definitely going to be continuing with Zombie Tag Revelations, because a lot of you guys have been wanting updates about that and are urging to know when that comes out and if you can help. So we'll get into that in a bit. But Revelations is definitely happening. Happening. You don't have to worry about that. We're going to do everything that we can to make sure that does get made. As for Alpha Protocol, that has been canceled and we're going to explain why. Uh, firstly, do you want to explain why it was canceled, Colin? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. I'll just go over it in brief. Effectively, the only reason is is that when we started it up, we were under the impression that we needed a series to tide people over until the wait for ZAR. Over time, we've realized, or at least like, I, I came to a conclusion that ZAR is, is the priority, like you said, and a lot of people are waiting for ZAR the most, and <clears throat> I figured that Alpha Protocol could kind of be a side project that could lead into ZAR with some of its storylines and such, but I just realized that the process of creating the episodes and, you know, putting them together, which is what I was going to do for Alpha Protocol and did for Episode 1, and I realized quickly from doing Episode 1 that it's something that I'm not very used to doing. I'm not used to recording in bulk, in hour-long episodes, just below an hour, uh, full voice acting, etc. That kind of stuff just isn't usually my cup of tea, really, if you'll pardon the pun. But I decided from that, because I'm focusing on my channel a lot lately and the videos I'm trying to put up, that it would be difficult for me to maintain a level of quality for Alpha Protocol and the story that I had planned for it. Like I said, I realized that I wouldn't be able to develop Alpha Protocol alongside the things I was trying to do on my channel. I'm trying to branch away from, from the Zombie Attack series because I do plan on, you know, finishing with the Zombie Attack and moving on to other things that I'd like to do. I feel like I'm a little bit too heavily typecasted as the Carter character and I'd like to get away from that and do my own thing in some ways. And I wouldn't be able to do that if I was running Alpha Protocol and my own videos, so I came to a decision based on things going on in life, you know, and, and my own channel, that it needs to... It wasn't something I could do, so I came to Josh, said to him that it wasn't something I'd be able to really continue, pass the torch to him in a way, and then I can, I can pass it over to you now, can't I, because we pretty much we know where it went from here. Right, so then, of course, came the inevitability that I would have a decision whether I wanted to continue it or not. And it was a pretty tough decision for me because I knew either way that some people would understand, some people wouldn't. But the biggest reason is because, we you think about it, these videos take a lot of time and effort to do. And with me planning revelations, with me trying to do my own videos, and me and Colin were very busy dudes. We, uh, we both have jobs, and a lot of our personal time takes up a lot of our lives, and these YouTube videos take a really long time to make, especially Zombie Attack. They suck up a lot of time and effort, and for us to want to continue that, we need the incentive in order to continue it. The problem is, is we didn't feel like there was enough, I guess you could say, demand for Alpha Protocol, and because of that, we really didn't have the incentive to make it. Because in anything people do, if you spend a lot of time and effort and you work really hard on something, you expect the reward, essentially. When you're not given that, there's really no incentive for you to continue it. And honestly, hardly anybody cared about Alpha Protocol. Mostly everybody just wanted to see Revelations. There kept many questions about that. People saying, Revelations, 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 when is it? We gotta know when it's coming out. Well, that word's hard to say really fast. But... Yeah, the thing is, they take a lot of time and effort to make, and because that incentive for me to not make it was there, that's why I decided, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and not continue to make the series. I'd rather focus on Nervalations and go from there, essentially, because Alpha Protocol is more of this spin-off series. It was a pretty good idea, don't get me wrong, and for those of you that were enjoying it, you know, I do apologize, but I mean, Revelations is going to be... Honestly, I think it's going to be kick fucking ass. Revelations is going to be on a scale far greater than that of Alpha Protocol. There has been a lot more planning and preparation and storyline development gone into Revelations as opposed to Alpha Protocol. And if there are people out there who, you know, might have been fans of where we were going with Alpha Protocol and with the Alex character, 
I think it's safe to say now that what our, one of our plans is is we're going to actually take some of the assets that we were building for Alpha Protocol, such as the Alex character, the Catherine character possibly, etc., and we're going to bring some of it into the Revelation storyline. So for those of you who might have enjoyed Alex's persona and what we were going with for him, you know, you can race, rest safe because Alex will possibly make an appearance in Revelation, so we can continue that. Right. I do like Alex's character, and I definitely did see the potential in that character, so I am going to be importing his character into Revelations for sure, because I just think he's a badass, and I want to continue, you know, developing his character. And just because of, like, what he can do with his strength and, uh, you know, the type of infection he has... And we're not going to get into too much about him because not too much was revealed about enough protocol. He's going to be developed a lot more in Revelations as a character. So for those of you that liked him, don't worry, he's still going to be in Revelations. And I'm really excited about that. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about Revelations and stuff. All we can always say is right now it's all just in the planning phase. We haven't filmed anything yet, obviously. And um, a lot of people were asking me stuff like, are you going to use the Rockstar Editor? Um, how can it help? What's it going to be about? Etc. I'll go ahead and try to answer as many of those as I possibly can. But essentially, yeah, I'm going to be using the Rockstar Editor. Um, but not for, I guess you could say, the entire series. Because of those of you that have seen my GTA 5 Machinima videos, like the ones I did for the Sniper, and the other one I did with the uh, Epic, Char Epic uh, Car Chase, those alone took like a really long time to make, just those yeah. few minute videos. And because of that, what I think I'm going to do is just use the Rockstar Editor for action sequences or scenes that par really particularly need it. So basically yeah. like really important scenes or really dramatic scenes, epic scenes, but definitely the action scenes. As for just the talking scenes, there really isn't much point in putting them there. I mean, yeah, it would be nice to have, like, camera shots in there, but what we're, what we're planning is, instead of having used the Rockstar editor for all the talking scenes and stuff, what we're probably going to do is, since Colin has a capture card now, we'll be able to, you know, flip shots back and forth between two different characters, maybe even three, if we can get a third person at times to do that. So because of that, there really won't be a need to necessarily use the Rockstar editor for, you know, those really long dialogue scenes. There's much point to that. But the yeah, action the Rockstar, scenes for sure. The Rockstar editor is is intuitive, but doesn't it it takes it the process of, of getting all the footage and exporting it in, into Rockstar Editor and things and editing it in the Rockstar Editor, it takes a long time, doesn't it? It takes a lot of effort. It's practically filming an episode in of itself. Yeah. So, so what you said about a very important action scenes and as we know in, in Zombie Attack you have, you know, superhuman characters, characters that can do things that aren't normal, all of which we can do in Rockstar Editor, and that's what it'll be used for, so. Right. Hmm. And we being a lot of questions about if people can help, my, my answer to that is absolutely. So what we're doing is I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave you guys an email address in the description below. It's very easy. All you have to do is you can just record some lines, you can say them however you want to, as of right now, we're not really revealing any characters. We'll do that later down the road. But you can basically just say whatever you want. You can sound whatever you want to. And if you really like it, then yeah, we'd love to have you as a uh, voice actor in the series. All you have to do is just simply record your voice and then send it to the audio file to the email address that I'm going to leave in the description below. I'll probably also put it right here above my hand. Because, you know, that's how epic I am. But, but yeah, it's very easy. If you guys want to go ahead and do that for sure, we're going to just um, open auditions and just leave them open as long as possible. Because I think last time for Legacies, we only had them open for a couple months. But now we want to make sure we want to get them open right away. So auditions are open. Again, if you guys want to audition, just record. You can say anything you want. And you can send any, anything you want to. If you think it sounds cool, then awesome. You can just go ahead and record it via audio file and then send it to my email address, which again is right here on the video, and it'll also be in the description below. Another thing a lot of been getting a lot of questions about is what is Revelations going to be about exactly? Well, of course, it's going to implement all the story elements that were in Legacies. Now, we of course can't go into key things into it because one thing that I'm going to be very careful about, because I don't know about you, Colin, but I absolutely hate it 
when like directors or even like trailers and whatnot they give away the entire story yeah, I hate right. that so as of right now I'm not really going to go too much into it all we can really say though is you will see a lot of familiar faces <laughs> and mm. shit will hit the fan for sure exactly. yeah. last thing we want to do is terminate a genesis this like the the best way we can describe it is that all of the characters a lot like how we tried to you know with with the original zombie attack series with series three we tried to make all the characters best themselves and be the best they can be that's what this will be it will be all mm -hmm. of the characters that you know and others that we can't even name yet besting themselves and doing things that you've never seen before that's what it'll be hell yeah and um yeah so shit will definitely hit the fan and the biggest thing about this guy is is this is going to be the last series for zombie attack and grand theft auto period that we're making so we're not going to be continuing this in gta 6 we're not going to be making any more spin-off series or anything like that this is the last true final series for zombie attack and grand theft auto we're making this is absolutely the final chapter so just in that itself gives me the chills because <laughs> yep. when you think about it We've been working on this thing for a long time, and I really do think that we want to go out with a bang. So we're going to make this as best as we possibly can, and I think, personally, I think it's going to be the best one yet. And compared Definitely. to all the other series, you can't even compare it to this one. Because exactly. me and Colin, we've been planning this thing, I'll be honest with you guys, me and Colin have been planning this since we filmed that last scene in Series 3. That's how That's right. long we've been planning this, ever since mm -hmm. then. We've been working out a story for it. We've been working out what we want to happen. And we've thrown out a lot of ideas between each other. And I really like where it's going. And the direction we're taking is, I think, is phenomenal. And nothing in any previous series, you'll have seen this before. And that's what I really like doing is we make one series, we improve it over the last. But we also do a lot of things that you haven't seen before. So that isn't just going to be the Rockstar Editor. It's not just going to be voice acting, which are brought into legacies. It's not just going to be better quality. It's as a whole. So everything about it is going to be increased tenfold. So I'm really excited about that. And you guys should definitely be excited about that too. And for those of you that were fans of Alpha Protocol, you should absolutely be excited for it as well. So lastly, what I want to talk about is for uh, Revelations. Or of course, we're going to be releasing some teaser trailers and an official trailer later down the road. And when those are coming out, I'm excited to say that the Revelations first teaser will be coming out here probably less than a month, definitely before 2016. And I'm super excited to show you guys the first teaser trailer. I showed Colin already, and mm -hmm. I had a friend of mine and who is actually a professional graphics designer he is insanely good at creating like graphics <laughs> but when you when you just look at the way these are designed like it's it, it looks phenomenal it's professional it, it's like movie quality and yeah. uh, some of these teaser trailers are going to have that so i am super excited to show you guys what's going what they're going to be about they won't contain any actual footage from the series itself but we they are going to basically illustrate what the tone of Revelations is going to be about. So I'm super excited to show those. So stay tuned for that. The first teaser trailer for Revelations will be coming out within the month. And lastly, uh, what I want to talk about is I also got this uh, really awesome lightsaber from this uh, website called Ultrasabers.com. I'll leave a link to their uh, website in the description. But I want to do a uh, review on that saber because I think it deserves it. Like, it is insanely awesome. When I first, you know, looked at it and the website, I was pretty impressed. But when I got it, I was... It, it blew me away. It's beyond my expectations. And, I mean, it's pretty much the best saber you can get on the market. Yeah, so check their website out. And keep in mind, they're not cheap. They're definitely not cheap lightsabers. But for good reason. Because the material they make for these things is, like, the best kind you can get. So they're not cheap plastic. They're all metal titanium they use premium sound quality for the lightsaber sounds they have a whole ton of different 
options for sabers and accessories. It's crazy. So go to the website, check it out. Stay tuned. I'll be doing a review on that saber pretty soon, as I'm excited to do. And also, since we're on the topic of Star Wars, me and my friend uh, John, we're going to be going to see the Force Awakens premiere on December 17th. And me and him, we actually, both of us got these costumes that are going to be on the premiere, talking to people, so we're going to be doing some vlogs there, so stay tuned on my second channel for that, I'm super stoked for that. But that's pretty much all I have for now in terms of uh, why we can't sign for protocol, plans we have for love relations, and future videos. Do you have uh, anything else to add, Colin? Uh, the only thing I was going to add on the topic of the teaser trailers that we'll be developing for Revelations, it'll be a lot like some of the... Uh, live action trailers we've done in the past where we've, we've used actual real life actors to portray events or, or story elements that we'll be using in Revelations and there will be teaser trailers that will be made by both Josh and me some of which I, I will develop and they will be coming we, I can't really slap a date on it but mm -hmm. like we said the first teaser will be coming in a month or so and then I will begin developing some as well Right. so yeah so we're excited to show you guys those teaser trailers and we're Super stoked to uh, finally get our relations out to you guys. We're not sure when we're going to start filming it. Um, we're probably going to wait after the holidays so that way we can kind of give all of our friends and everybody some time to try to rack up some money to, you know, get Xbox Ones and get GTA 5 for Xbox One. If you guys want to help, and I would definitely recommend, of course, you have to have Xbox One, firstly. You also have to have GTA 5 on Xbox One. And if you guys want to help, what I recommend you do is you can either go to the Zombie Attack Series Facebook fan page. That'll have a link in the description below, so go there, follow that page. We're going to give you updates on there on when we're filming. If you guys have any types of questions about Revelations, you can go ahead and send us a message on that fan page. We're going to try to reply to them as much as we can. Again, we're not going to necessarily say much about Revelations in itself, but if you have questions like if you want to help or if you want to voice act, again, auditions are open right now. And like I said, if you want to help, just get an Xbox One and get GTA 5 for Xbox One. Stay tuned on that Facebook fan page because it will give you guys updates on when the filming times actually take place. So stay tuned for that, guys. And that's all I have. Until then, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. 3D. 3D. Oh, shit. <laughs>